Well, applying dimensions in the USA environment can get a little tricky. I've dimensioned a number of gaps in this particular drawing, and if we start at this point here and go across, the dimension is clearly 10 feet. Just to reiterate, start a linear dimension, pick up the first point of your dimension line, and pick up the second point. Make sure you use those snaps to do it, and then position your dimension as I've done here. If I select that dimension, see its measurement is exactly 10 decimal feet. I've changed my dimension style to put the suffix, the apostrophe, at the end of the dimension style. So I've gone in here, dimension style, units, and a suffix. I've put a single quote in there. That gives me something that I would be relatively happy with. I would read that as 10 feet. However, there are circumstances where you've got a smaller distance and your construction team might well want to report the dimension as one foot four and three quarter inch. So if I select this dimension here, and you see that its actual measurement is 1.33761 decimal feet, and that's an awkward figure. So you can convert that into the imperial system using, say, a little spreadsheet to do that. Let's just move across and we'll throw another dimension in and we'll dimension from that point there and come across to this point here and we'll move up and place the dimension and it reads 2.41 but again the measurement is 2.412 so I could go into here and 2.412 and hit enter and that reads 2 feet 4 and then 15 sixteenth of an inch so that's the figure I could type in the box I'll just see if I can really want to copy the contents don't I of that you can see what's happened we've got a complex formula behind there so I think for the moment I'll just jot that down that should read 2 foot 4 and 15 sixteenths now, I'd be very surprised if a construction team needs that level of feet and inches, but we can, if necessary, just do a text override, and that becomes two feet with the apostrophe, four and fifteen sixteenths of an inch, and we're done. We can spread that out if that's a little unreadable, you might want to pick it, jump in here and put a space between the two foot and then another space after the four inches. And that now reads two foot, four and fifteen sixteenths. And now I'll put a double quote to indicate that it's inches there. So we have two foot, four and fifteen sixteenths is the length of that wall. Well, I would prefer the dimension team, there. I would prefer rather the construction team um, work on decimal feet but um, that's probably come from a system that the architect uses to put down the plan but I'm using this as an illustration how you just might need to adjust if you are for the sake of argument putting some dimensions in here for the depth of that grass through there so it's possible to over type any dimension and change the dimension system